Our next segment and videos deal with bass jigs for largemouth and smallmouth bass. The featured jigs and trailers will be number one, the Megabyte Flippin' 40 bass jig with 40 strand fiber weed guard. First presentation will be with a 3.75 inch Predator Crawl Trailer and the second presentation with a 4 inch Bubba Crawl Trailer. The second jig will be the Bluff Buster 3 quarter ounce stand up football jig with dual flexible wire guards. First presentation with a 3.75 inch Predator Crawl Trailer. The second with a 4 inch Bubba Crawl Trailer. Third presentation will be a Bubba Crawl Trailer rigged on a 1 quarter ounce floater jig. And finally, we'll have 3.75 and 3.25 inch Predator trailers rigged on a flutter head jig. Bass jigs represent crayfish and presented properly are deadly for both largemouth and smallmouth bass. Plastic trailers should complement the jig but not cause the jig to go off balance and lay on their side. Multicolored silicone skirts with 40 to 50 strands will add bulk and action to the jig with subtle rod movements. Custom jig heads will have retainer barbs and or coil spring retainers that hold the plastic trailer in place. Welcome to the jig rigging portion of our video presentation. This is a flipping 40 jig. It has a megabyte wide gap hook on it, ultra point hook, a 40 strand fiber guard, and custom skirt retainer collars. Make sure when you purchase a fiber guard jig, there is approximately a half inch difference between the point of the hook and the fiber guard, the rear of the fiber guard because if that jig fiber guard is touching that hook that will give you no absolutely no snag resistance in submerged wood the minute you come up there the hook point is right into the wood this way you have a little bit of deflection to get you through these trees another thing with a 40 strand fiber guard or any fiber guard for that matter is approximately split it in half open it up this gives you a clear path for the hook to come through. Here's our flipping 40 jig with a custom four color skirt installed on it. And I trim the, the skirts so they just hang down a little bit because I do not want them to obscure the trailer. Now we're going to take a 3.75 inch predator crawl and we're going to cut off the top segment back to the first set of legs. Put the hook in the center, halfway around the bend of that hook, bring it out dead center on the seam, and there we have a properly rigged flipping 40 jig with a 3.75 inch Predator Crawl trailer. This is the new three quarter ounce bluff buster football jig dual wire flexible guards it has an area for the skirt collar and another collar with two large plastic lower retainers or double barbs if you will here's our bluff buster football jig rigged with a custom 50 strand three color black blue and purple skirt and this is a stand up jig as you can see I'm going to rig this with a four inch bubba crawl trailer and you can see how that separation between the skirt collar and the floats off bait retainer is very functional for this you do not want your salt bait trailer sliding off of there when you're working through structure
that trailer is on there. And there it is. Next up is a Bubba Crawl rigged one a quarter ounce flutter head. There's a trick to getting these little hitchhikers in. Some folks have problems with this. So I created this small awl, sharpened it in a grinding wheel. Make a hole dead center, what about a half inch or so. And you put your hitchhiker in that indentation and turn the soft bait to you. Once it starts to thread, it will continue right up to the top of the hitchhiker. This is a laminated bubble crawl. We want the light side down. Okay, we take the flutter jig. This is where you must pay attention. Look where the bend of that hook is. I put my finger there push the trailer forward and bring the hook point straight through now if you're in heavy weeds you can needle stick the hook of this which means pulling the jig forward just a bit the jig trailer and letting the tip of that hook just go into the plastic bass hits it the hook is exposed and you catch the fish many times just laying in the little channel here will keep the jig from getting snagged. Here we have a Predator Crawl 3.25 inch. We're going to rig this also on a flutter head. Make a little hole, hole with our hole here. Press, turn, It will feed itself. You can use your thumb and forefinger against the hitchhiker coil keeper to go into the plastic straight. And there you have jig rigging made simple. Here's the flipping 40 jig with a predator crawl trailer. Notice the central balance. The jig lands every time, whether you hop it, crawl it, or swim it, with the hook in an upright position. This is called excellent central balance and provides very good dependable hook sets. Here's the Bubba Crawl trailer on the flipping 40 jig. Watch these claws undulate with the slightest movement. Just inching along, it looks alive. Again, the central balance is superlative with these jigs. They will not roll over on their side. Here's the three quarter ounce stand up bluff buster football jig with a predator crawl trailer. This is a stand up jig with dual flexible wire guards. Look how lively that trailer is when you swim it, jig it, hop it, or crawl it. Always comes back with central balance in a stand up position.
is the bubble crawl trailer on center stage attached to the three quarter ounce stand up football jig. Incredible action on this. I've seen this video many, many times and I still can't believe the action of this. Just the claws look so lifelike and the skirt complements the bulk of the jig. This is for the back to the basic crowd. Here's a four inch Bubba Crawl trailer on a quarter ounce flutter head. No silicone, just the jig head and the trailer. Incredible action. This, this bait is an absolute fish catcher. Central balance is always maintained no matter what you do with this jig. Again, you can swim it, hop it, jig it, and crawl it. It will always rest on the bottom in an upright position. Here's a 3.75 inch predator crawl on a quarter ounce flutter head. Again, lifelike action, the claws move, they rest in a raised position with central balance throughout the entire retrieve. Here's the venerable 3.25 inch predator crawl rigged on a 1 8 ounce flutter head. This is a favorite with river smallmouth bass anglers. Central balance is always maintained throughout the retreat with lifelike action and floating claws on the rest. <laughs> 